Welcome to the Murphy, Sam, and Jody After the Show podcast, where we just hang out a little bit longer. And uh, you can be a part of this by, uh, well, a couple of different ways. If you're listening on the iHeartRadio app, you can click the talkback mic and send us a message that way. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or, or anywhere else, you can also send us a voice memo if you want to. The email address is msj at msjshow.com. On Friday, we like to dig in to you and your emails and comments and everything that you send in and questions. And boy, did, did you, are you really bringing it with the dumb things that you fight about as a couple? <laughs> and this is all because, you know, Murphy and I, we shared that we had a, a recent, you know, clash, if you will. And uh, we had to work through it over the last several days. Yeah, it was a week ago today. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, right about this time, actually, I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> I won't, we won't be recreating that. Anyway, <sighs> anyway. Um, and everyone was so surprised. Like, you guys fight? I mean, of course we do. We are married and we work together. The opportunity the likelihood of us crashing into each other yeah. is even more so than most couples because we spend so much time together at work and home but i will say that jody's gotten a lot better about it than we used to be yeah hey. okay that's a it's joke shame that you're not better hi that's a joke <laughs> anyway, anyway so you're gonna do this every friday now huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I listed some of the dumb things we fight about i only listed three Number one, I had forgotten about running some of those late. Yeah, running running late. late is an ongoing thing because I don't like to run late. It, I, I mm. can't stand it. Anyway, that's all I will say. Well, it, Running late is a thing that we clash on. And I am a time optimist, so I, I have a tendency to believe that more can be done in, in a time period than can actually be done. You also have and a T-shirt they, that says, I don't feel tardy. Yeah, right. They, well, you gave me that one, Sam. Thank you. He has you. another T-shirt from you, you know, that says, probably late for something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, look, uh, there's a theme here. After all these years, uh, I can accept that about you. I do not expect perfection, obviously. But when it directly in, it, when it directly affects me, that's well, when it is a problem. I, yeah, look, I, I don't like that. running late. And, and anyway. you know where it comes from, the other thing, too, and I know you don't want me to get bogged down on this one, but uh, it, it's... You know, my mother always said, you finish what you start. And I, th I so I, therefore I have trouble if I'm in a task, when I'm interrupted in the middle of that task, that's that throws me off too, right? You know that I about mean, me. I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, some tasks shouldn't be saved for the morning we're leaving for a trip, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. That's, <laughs> anyway, listen. Strap in, folks. <laughs> that's so, an ongoing So back one. to how these arguments get started. <laughs> um, there will be things like that. You're married to the same person for a long time. They're the same person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's sometimes arguments or bumps are always going to be there. Acknowledge it. Talk about it. Let it air out a little bit. Breathe through it. <clears throat> Bring it up get, again a week later. Yeah. The other one that I listed that is um, a thrown away sandwich. Do you remember this one? No, I don't. It's a I mean, dumb thing to fight about, which is why I put it down on the list. These are dumb things to fight about. Who threw it away? <clears throat> Murphy threw away my sandwich one time, and it was my lunch. It was at work, and the most of all the years working with you, I have never, ever known you to clean out the refrigerator at work. But one day. You got a wild hair, and you threw away a bunch of stuff in the refrigerator. Right. Even Sam barely ever cleans it out. He just threw away some three-month-old grapes of his that oh, had look, fuzz I, growing on well, them. Well, I mean, to me, it, it usually starts with a stench when you open the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they got one in there right you now if you want to go look. Well, okay. Well, well, we need to get that out of there. This is one day you just walked <laughs> in here into the studio and go, I just cleaned out the refrigerator. And I'm like, okay. He, like, I threw away a bunch of stuff. And I'm like, wait, I just had... Uh, the best sandwich I've ever had, <laughs> of half of it, the day before, and I had put the other half in the refrigerator, and I was looking forward to having it for my lunch, and you threw my sandwich away, and I was so sad because it was underneath a bunch of gross stuff, and it was just, like, gone forever. But wait, did we fight about that? Well, I was upset about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't remember it's arguing about thing. that It's a dumb thing. It's a dumb thing. Yeah. So that's why it's on the list. Yeah. And the other one was Pulp Fiction. Do you remember okay. that? Well, I the remember movie? that. It, well, and I was in the wrong on this one, okay? <laughs> I was definitely in there, yeah, the movie Pulp Fiction, because we got in a conversation, uh, Taylor and Phoebe, our oldest daughter and youngest daughter, it might have been just with Taylor, our oldest. Anyway, the conversation mm -hmm. kind of came up with like, oh, yeah, well, we were talking about John Travolta, that's why. Mm -hmm. And and I said, well, yeah, but Pulp Fiction, that's a movie you should see. Both, actually, you, you told Phoebe she, she should see it. Okay. And she was like 14 years old. Right. And, you know, I mean, I'm like, I hadn't seen Pulp Fiction in... 
15, 20 years. I yeah. wasn't thinking about it. I just remember it being a great movie with some great lines and, you mm-hmm. know, a little bit of language, but I didn't think it was a big deal. Jody was really mad mm-hmm. about that. Because they were planning to watch Pulp Fiction that night, and Phoebe was <laughs> not allowed to even. She, you know, she only. <laughs> Well, I forgot it's, about it's a scene, scene at the late end at the end of the Bruce, movie. Bruce with Bruce Willis, Willis. Yeah, at, the, yeah. at, the, at the gun shop. At the pawn shop or pawn whatever. Shop, yeah. And I'm thinking, well, that's something that I had trouble forgetting. Like, I couldn't get that out of my brain. A 14-year-old certainly wouldn't be able to. I know. I, I know. I and feel stupid for that. And then I had to be the that. heavy to say, I'm sorry, Phoebe. No, you can't watch this. <laughs> She's like, but dad said I should. It's good. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm going to let mom tell you why you can't watch it. (laughs) It was a dumb thing to fight about, but I was mad. And we, and you kind of. It's because I did. And you know how I am with I forget things. And yes, I forgot that scene. For me, what, (laughs) as time has gone on, the only real things I remember from Pulp Fiction were the scene where, Mm. you know, the adrenaline to the heart to, you know, Mm. get it back up and going. The cheeseburger discussion, yeah, which everybody on the Royal with cheese, cheese. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, you know, and then the dance, and it just there are a lot of iconic moments from that movie. I forgot about the ending being totally inappropriate for Mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. Anyway, (laughs) it's funny. It was kind of hard to remember the dumb fights. It's not hard to remember the rough ones, but it's it's hard to remember stupid stuff. But if you live with someone for any length of time, you're going to bump into each other over stupid things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we asked you. To share yours. Uh, Pam says, leaving stuff around after you finish with it and not putting things back where you get them from. That's what we fight about. You feeling that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All people who live together have Mm -hmm. that. It Um, always seems like in a couple, there's always a clean person and a not so clean person. It just seems that way. I will tell you something else. I don't know that it's cleanliness sometimes. It's forgetfulness or distraction, Mm -hmm. like a cabinet door being open and that kind of stuff. You know, I will tell you, lights I, being left on, ad- shoes being left around the floor. Right. Yes, I'm the one that does a lot of picking up constantly at the house, and I just do because when I walk through a room, I'm not just walking from one room to the next. I'm looking at everything and checking everything out and making. I, I just can't help it. That's just how I roll. But I will, I will admit that if it's my shoes laying there. I know I put them there. I like knowing that they're there. I'm going to get them. They're there because I plan to go to the store again later. Right. If I see someone else's shoes just sitting in the middle of the kitchen, it bothers me. <laughs> so it's it, But it it's could a be for selfish. the same reason, Is you know. It not? Yeah, it could be for the same reason. Yeah. Cuz I'll do that every now and then too. It's like, okay, I know that tomorrow morning I'm going to be going straight back out. I want to leave my shoes right here. Yeah. That kind of stuff. But, <laughs> you know, generally speaking between you and I, that's not as much of a it, it, not as big of a deal. I used to be one of those who was kind of oblivious to things on tables. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, it, it, but not so much now. I think I'm a lot yeah, better about that than be, I used to be. When we were first married, I was like, are you really leaving flashlights there? It's like, yeah, because you <laughs> never know when you might need a flashlight. Now. You know, d- okay, go, to go back to the sandwich that Murphy threw away uh, of yours, uh-huh. haven't you been in one of your cleaning tornadoes and of thrown course. away important stuff? Of course. Yes. Yeah. I think mm. I threw away. See, Murphy and I didn't fight about this, though. Uh, there was no stupid argument. It's just I felt horrible. I think I threw away permission slips for the girls for school Field trips and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. things that they needed. Yeah. So you certain know, you receipts lessons. that we were missing. You know, <laughs> things, yeah. I see somebody remembers. Hey Jody, we got a notice from the IRS. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Suzanne says, "Don't use the spoon that you stir your coffee with in the same dish that you get your sugar out of." Loading the dishwasher oh, correctly yeah. is something. Uh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. That's an interesting one, though, because everybody does that differently. Everybody yeah. sees it differently, so it's very difficult yeah. to, because I'm the same way, too. There are certain things that go on the bottom. There are certain things that go on the top, and that should never be violated. <laughs> <laughs> and the way they go but, on the bottom is a certain way. Right, but, you know, but Jody is, you know, I, I follow Jody's rules on the dishwasher, and I follow Jody's rules on the cabinets, too. It's like... You know, a coffee mug belongs in this cabinet over on the right side of the sink, not over here on the left, that kind of thing. You know? Yeah, and that just takes time. You, you're living with somebody. <laughs> He's coming around, huh? Tracy says not turning off a light. They yeah. Stupid yeah. things that they argue about. Uh, Terry says that I don't help him with his phone. He's Samsung. I'm iPhone. <laughs> um, Denise says the dumbest thing, we, dumbest things we've fought about is which way the toilet paper rolls should sit on the holder, <laughs> oh, wow. under or over. You know what? That's an interesting. Uh, I think we're the same debate. on that. Well, yeah, it's really you know. So it, it, and she says, did she say how they 
She just said it over and over under. Over and under. It means so, that they disagree. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think <laughs> everybody's going to have a different opinion, but it's supposed to be over the top. I think Not so on the backside. It's supposed to be. Well, <laughs> well because the reason for that, land. honestly, it's because the reason it's supposed to be over the top is oh. fi- it's physics. If it's on the bottom and so, if it's on You're the pulling. backside and you pull, it, it, the, the, it runs the risk of completely unrolling and unraveling. It's not going to dispense properly. And so that's the reason it should go you know, <laughs> over, you not should... under. And if you look in. in if he remarries in... one day after I'm gone, I hope he explains it that way. Well, yeah. <laughs> so in, 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 here's another way to actually show that it that, that should be over, not Spending under. Spending a lot of time on this one. Right. This well, because, you know, I got, a po- I got a point to make. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, if you look in uh, a lot of, you know, commercial establishments in the restrooms <laughs> where you see the. Uh, there's like a little metal lid that hangs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in hotel rooms. The reason it hangs on the front is because it goes over the top and the bottom so that when you pull the perforation, it, you know, it well, comes Well, they're off. dealing with the perforation. That doesn't doesn't mean it's wrong. If it's in your own home and yeah, you it, want it going right. under, it's your, your business. Your preference is not what's wrong, but I think the intention from a physics standpoint is the other way so that it doesn't completely <laughs> unroll. Sam, would you like to deal with this at home? Actually, I have an observation. <laughs> okay. well, I think there's three, three things to this. You have the over people and you have the under people, and, you know, there's no changing minds. Yeah. But then you have the people. People who ju- just don't just want care. toilet paper, and they care. put it on the roll. And however it goes on the roll, that time mm-hmm. is how it is. This yeah. time it might be over. Next time it might be under. I don't care. I don't have to think about it because I'm only doing one thing with that toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't matter how it gets I like there. It. So I do like you it. do you change it when it's uh, when, when it's not the right way? Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, so Even you do care, it's... obviously. I do too, because you know, it, <laughs> it's. I mean, not a big deal, but I mean, to me, you know what? That's sort of a courtesy thing also yeah. however i don't have to change it much because there is no one else in my house about to say you it's only done drink, right every time if you're changing into someone else's house yeah right sherry says they fight dumb fights over running the dishwasher before it's full oh yeah yeah i understand that yeah it's just little that's like running the washing machine before it's full uh iris says never tell a partner who is helping you that it's not done like this just thank you my love so Aww, that's, in other words, that's sweet. if someone's helping you with something, try your best not to say, well, this is not really the right way. Just say thank you for helping me. That works for well, your kids, too. Yes, it does. You don't mm-hmm. want to just slam them like that. No, because mm-hmm. then they don't want to help you. Nope. Well, nobody does. In any conversation, anything, nobody wants to be, you know, talk. Especially if you're in a, you know, a, a relationship, partnership, you're together. It's really about asking the other person to do something, not telling them. Another, that makes all the difference in the world. Another little trick, and you've, I don't, you've never done this, so I'm just, this is not you, Murphy, but I will say, know this, men of the world, uh, don't ever say, well, my mom did it this way. <laughs> don't say that to a woman. Ooh. You are not married to your mother. You hopefully are not, you know, kind of expecting that from her. Wow. Her I can see that was starting an argument. That will be a problem because the woman that you're married to or are partnered up with or whatever is the woman in your life now yeah. and so she does not need to be reminded that this is how your mother did it especially in the kitchen <laughs> oh especially anywhere but, but yeah but you know the other th- but that does remind me that what you're talking about a common fight <laughs> And a lot of families are if the in-laws don't get along, family, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That sort of thing. Oh, yes. where you cross those lines of their parents versus your parents and that sort of thing. I almost put on our, our list of dumb things we fought about my mom, but I don't find that to be a dumb thing when we fight about it. I don't find that to be light. <laughs> it's been a long time ago. Yeah. It has been a long. I mean, there have been disagreements on that, you know, but mm-hmm. she's your mom, not mine. I'm kidding. <laughs> She's your mother-in-law. <laughs> Rebecca says they fight over stupid things. They fight over who left the milk out, and I don't drink milk. Ah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. There's so much coming in here. Well, how about Laura, the one where you, uh, you use something and put it back in the fridge when it's got, like, barely enough for anybody? Yeah. I feel like kids <clears throat> do that more. They if do. an adult's doing that, something's going on. Mm. Something's weird there. Or maybe they're not thinking. Yeah. Well, either that or there's just not enough room in the cup to put that little bit in. That's uh, happened to me before. I would like to use the rest of it. There's just not enough room for it. You know? Okay. That's when you turn the carton up and you drink it straight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stephanie sent this. Love you two. Uh, me and mine, we argue over mother-in-law, mm-hmm. kids, being late, where to eat, and money. Money's a big one. That in is a life. big one. 
But the where to eat thing always cracks me up a little bit yeah. because, and we've done this before too, where you know, it will be, you know, and it could be either of us. So I'm not just saying Jody's the only one that does this. Okay, well, I'm good. Where do you want to go tonight, Murphy? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking Mexican. And then, you know, oh, I don't really want Mexican tonight. It's like, okay, well, you asked me what I want. You know, when yeah. when people, when do nobody when, can. It's kind of like it's you see, don't, I don't I don't really care is the answer. You know, yeah. where do you want? I don't really care. And then the first thing you throw out is like, well, not there. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're correct. Number one, I never say no to Mexican, though. Oh, <laughs> that's I know that. That's example. true. You're right. That's but a poor example. I think that's anyone. Yeah. Everyone's going to yeah, do that. Yeah, you have yeah. to be And that's forgiving. not even just thinking. That's just. Right. Everyone is going to do that. And that's not a real problem. It's it's an aggravation, but it's not but, a problem. But, I'll, you know, I'll tell you, this is one of those that, you know, the, the longer that you're in a relationship, that's when I, I just don't let that one bother me anymore. It's going to happen. I mean, at some point we've got to make a decision. Right. But, yeah. you yes. know, it's just like that's one I, I don't let that one get under my skin anymore. And we, what we said, I want to I want to read two more of these. OK. But it's like what we said earlier this week, I think, in, the, in, a, in an after the show podcast. Sometimes it's about the baggage when you've been with somebody for a long time, it's not just it's the first time. It's not. It's because it's not the first time it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time the, the refrigerator thing is happening or the shoes left out. It's like you feel like no, nothing is ever changing. You have baggage. Yeah. And you're, you know, you get sort of fatigued with that. When you're together a long time, you have a beautiful history, hopefully, but you also have baggage and you have to learn to, you know. Let the baggage go. Live through it. Yeah. Like work, mm -hmm. just work through it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, as you get older, you understand that love is not the Hollywood thing we are sold. It is not. It is a, it's a life thing. Yeah. And it's, it's as many downs as there are ups. Yeah. As many downs as ups. Uh, Sean says stupid things that they fight about, driving. Whoa. Mm -hmm. We could do a whole podcast on that. I'm a horrible yeah. Um, You're a horrible passen passenger. I'm a horrible passenger, but I love to be the passenger because it, given the choice, I would not like to drive. If someone else can drive me, I love it. Yeah, those are things that used to bother me, but I understand Jody's just nervous. It's not about me, but I used to really get frustrated with that. As long as there's not like an open scream in the car or something yeah. like that that scares me that I'm makes me think that I'm missing something or I'm about to hit someone, you I'm know what I mean? I'm scared of the 18-wheelers sometimes right. and they, and, when they seem to get so close and I feel like... Yeah, and not just, you're not even you're all laxadaisical well, about and it. Even though they're not really getting close, <laughs> yeah, right? Well, the in the sorry, I, that's just a. I think that's a very common passenger thing. If you're, if you really mm -hmm. prefer to be in control, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, Sam, one of your exes was kind of a wild driver. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. I remember being in the passenger, you know, with her, and it was you know interesting. I, uh, but yeah, <laughs> but <clears throat> excuse me. The thing is, when Jody is behind the wheel and in control. She's more aggressive than she thinks she is. It's really funny because even the girls will, you know, will say that. But I think that's the case of anybody. You're going to yes. be a little bit different behind the wheel when you're in control versus a passenger. You're in yeah. control. I'm a bad passenger too. Yes, it's you are. Anybody, oh, thanks. Are. Anybody drives. It's just like I, 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 I can spot five things wrong with the way you're driving right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's true for you in every part oh, of yeah, life, that's right. Sam. <laughs> and finally, this is cute. Carol said one of the dumbest things they ever argued about, plastic containers. It really wasn't about that, though, and now we laugh about it. Aw. I wonder what it was. Like, Usually it's about something else. We're saving else. too many? We well, don't or you know what? Baggage. Lids. What about? It's probably the lids thing. You know what I mean? You're never finding a match for a plastic container. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we are. <laughs> Not that that's ever happened in I our family. I know what she means. Sometimes it's about something else. You yeah. can, it manifests itself as a plastic container or yeah. a coffee cup or a pair of shoes. Yeah, you're right. You know, but it's right. something else, and it just manifests itself through that. Yeah. You know, and you're like, you, you, are, you, are you picking a fight? Or are you just, is it about a 16 Something other unresolved, things? yeah. Yeah, you can't have things unresolved if you expect to. Yeah, move forward. I, I want to yeah. be happy yeah. to enjoy mm -hmm. life. Yes, you're right. So keep it coming. We like the dumb things that you have thought about because it's fun to talk about it. It's yeah. like therapy. Uh, so can we resolve this toilet paper thing <laughs> once and for all? Missed any part of the show? Get it all in the Murphy, Sam, and Jody podcast.